going somewhere. <gasps> just me sisters for a couple of days. Not because of me. No, I could just do with a break, that's all. But, um, I'd be grateful if you didn't tell Roxy. I'll, I'll call her tomorrow. Look, I don't know what's going on between you and Roxy, but you've done me a favour. The last thing I want to do is see you leave. No, it's not like that. But, you know, to be honest, darling, I don't know who I was trying to help. You or me. I know I was hard on you last time you were in. And the way you were with me at the police station. I don't blame you for that. I was angry with my mum, not you. <laughs> I was out of order. You're just a boy. You should have heard some of the things my two used to come out with. When you was in that room, you reminded me of someone. My gran. Always angry, always shouting. But deep down, he was as soft as a marshmallow. And I thought, if I brought you back here, I could feel useful. But if I can't sort out a couple of stroppy teenagers, what use am I? Look, you've had a hard few days, that's all. Doesn't mean you're redundant. No, oh, darling. I don't belong in that bar anymore. No more than she does. This is Roxy's place now. And you better get down there. Or she'll be wondering where you are. Successful night, eh? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Oh, look at this. I got the mess to prove it, didn't I? You know what? This lot can wait till morning. I am done in. Aren't you, Peggy, coming? Yeah, I'll be up in a minute. Oh. I'll just see to Amy and then we can catch up properly, yeah? <sighs> Great. Peg. Now let me help you. 